what is freaking up you guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title of this video we are doing a little a little glow up today i have just honestly have been so busy these last few months with projects and a bunch of things that i've honestly been neglecting myself and i think it's important for myself to take care of myself once in a while so this week we are going to be taking care of ourselves so i have no nails done i haven't shaved in months my hair looks a little drabby and i will be getting a nose filler job today and if you guys know i actually got this done over two years ago and i want to be honest with you guys and just be open because for me i want you guys to know things i've done to myself so that you guys never compare yourselves to me but as you guys know two years ago i got nose filler done i will say that my nose still has a little bit of filler in it after it being two whole years so we're gonna go to anita patel again this is my nose right now i am wearing makeup but they'll take off my makeup later but i figured i would show you guys what my nose looks like right now i did take some photos so i'll put the before photos right here but i'll also show you guys in a video so this is the nose this is me smiling with my nose not smiling smiling so what we're gonna be doing is maybe filling in my bridge a tiny bit more and then filling my tip a tiny bit more if you guys want to see the first time i got it done and how much my nose changed after that i'll leave that video down below i was super informational about that video i was also very nervous and now i'm not really nervous at all because i've already gotten it done i will say just as a disclaimer getting nose filler is one of the more complicated procedures for filler so you want to make sure you go to a very very reputable technician nurse doctor whatever it is who's doing your face because you can go blind if they don't fill your nose in the correct spots it's because your nose does have a lot of veins in it so i'm gonna head on over super excited here we are hello all right guys we're at the office we're just waiting for her but i kind of face tuned one of my photos i took today to show her what i would want so this is the before after, before, after. I don't know if you guys can see, it's very subtle. And that just makes sure it's Okay, and I'll do one from the front side too, just to see. Your hair looks so perfect. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> so I just faced you. I took this photo today and just okay. assumed it. Oh yeah, I like that. I know the tip is the most sensitive part, so oh, okay. I'll make sure the tip Just the tip. <laughs> Since I've gotten my nose filler done and I figured I would update you guys. Guys, when I say I have not been taking care of myself, I have not been taking care of myself. I have barely been sleeping and if you guys know, I have been starting a podcast and we're like launching it pretty damn soon and so I've just been so stressed about that. I just went to New York City. I did get my nails done. I know I was supposed to show you guys for this video but I forgot to do that because when I was getting my nails done I was so stressed out about how I didn't like them that I just forgot to vlog it because the girl who did my nails did an incredible job but I just 
didn't like the nail art design she was doing for me. So then I went to a different salon right after hers and I ended up paying $200 for the nails. But hey, at least I have some nails done. But I was in New York City for the weekend and I figured I would like give you guys a little nose update. So it's been a week, no bruising at all on my nose, no sensitivity at all. It looks really cute. This is what she looks like. This is not smiling, smiling, not smiling, smiling. It looks so, so good. So right now I figured I would update you guys because I'm about to take a shower and shave my body. But I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by You Like. If you guys don't know who You Like is or what they're about, they're actually an IPL handheld device. So it removes your hair at home with light technology. So IPL stands for intense pulsating light and it is kind of like hair laser removal except it is so much better. When I tell you guys, I had the worst experience doing hair laser removal. I got, I believe, five sessions of hair laser removal for $250 just for the backs of my hands. And I did two sessions and then I gave up because it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced. I hated the fact that I had to drive 35 minutes in LA traffic to get there and then another 35 back home to only do laser hair removal for like six minutes, if that. So I wanted to try out something better and you like actually reached out to me after I had already literally been looking at their stuff. So I felt like it was meant to be. So I've actually owned this for about three months now. I'm gonna show you guys my leg hair and I have not shaved it in like a month and a half if not longer, like I legitimately cannot tell you the last time I've shaved my legs. This takes 30 minutes to do your full body. I never do my full body just because I, as an Asian person, don't get hair everywhere, but I do get hair in some areas, you know, if you know what I mean. So I don't do my arms or anything like that, but the backs of my hands, I definitely do a little bit of my mustache, on my underarms, this little area. Also, it lays flat. I've actually tried another IPL device before and it does not lay flat. It's like a little concave. So you feel like you're missing spots, but this is just flat. It's straight up flat. Okay, I do have leg hair on the knees because I will say I've been missing this spot whenever I do the IPL session with you like. She's a little hairy. I feel like you can see my pores more than the hair because there's just not a lot of hair. Oh, wait. Okay, you can see that hair. You can see that one hair. The hair is very, very sporadic because this thing works amazingly. Oh yeah, see one hair right there, guys. I don't know why I feel this need to prove to you guys that this thing works, but it does. But hopefully that just proves it. Like literally no hair. The only thing is I haven't been as consistent with my underarms, but this has been three weeks, no shaving. This is what three weeks of no shaving looks like. And I've been doing IPL three or four times underneath the underarms. Super easy to use. This product has like the cutest little case, which is why I like to keep it in the case. Like it's so aesthetic. It comes in this cute little carrying box. I wonder if they probably want me to use it for this brand sponsorship, but it does come with glasses. I don't care for the glasses, but if you're worried about blinding yourself, this is it. All right, so let me shave really fast and update you guys on my new fresh smooth skin. Okay guys, so I just shaved my legs. So I know IPL works by targeting the melanin in your hair and just like directing a pulse of light to that hair follicle and like destroying it. But I'm gonna read the correct term to use. So as light is absorbed by the pigment in the hair, it turns to heat, which then kills the hair growth cells. Hair will grow back more sparsely and slower after each treatment, permanently reducing hair growth. This thing is permanent. I have come to realize that. Make sure not to use it on places you might want to grow hair back. So super easy to use. I have it plugged in. You turn it on by using this little button right here. It is loud a little bit, but that's because it is a very strong device. Like this device is pretty much almost professional slash spa quality. I have oil all over my fingers and I'm just cleaning the window. It has like a sapphire tip, which you can kind of see. The sapphire tip is supposed to cool your skin to 10 to 40 degrees Celsius versus other IPL treatments. It only cools down to like 40 to 60 degrees. You really don't feel the heat from this. I've used cheaper IPLs before, this is great, this is great. You know what, I'm gonna practice safety first just so that you guys can use, what is it? I'll set an example for myself. And this guy won't turn on unless it's flush, so you never have to worry about burning your eyes off. And when it's flush to something, it'll flash. And when you touch the tip of this, you'll feel how cold the tip is. This tip is freezing.
literally don't feel a thing. And then when I do one pass, I typically just clean it again with a clean sock. And then when I have my knees, I feel like a weirdo with these glasses on, so I'm getting sick of them. Um, I just never like glasses on me in general. That was so fast. It takes me like literally three minutes to do the full leg, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it to my underarms. Super easy. I don't use the glasses. I'm not gonna use the glasses, but you should definitely use the glasses. So turn the baby on, literally painless. It's just so cold. Just don't look at the light. So if you guys want it to pulsate, it's super easy. Just hold it down. Okay guys, so I just finished using this all over my body. I used it on both my legs, under the knees, and both my armpits in literally like less than seven or eight minutes. Also, completely pain-free and safe. I know you guys are probably wondering about that. They have over 30 international safety certifications. It's also FDA approved, so this guy does work and it's just the prettiest IPL set I've ever seen. So I will have a link for you guys down below if you guys wanna check it out. You guys can get $70 off the set. When I tell you guys, everyone always asks if I shave often. No, I don't. And this has been helping me. So yeah, go check out Ulike and the Sapphire device down below. It is the fifth generation device. Like they have been doing this since 2013. So they know what they're doing. Super excited to keep using them. Um, we'll definitely be shouting them out in other videos because I think it is amazing. I think we need to glow up a little more. I did buy these like fake lash extension kits that you can put on yourself at home and they last for five days so i'm gonna try that out it doesn't seem too hard but knowing me i am not the best at putting on lashes or lash extensions so it might be a struggle okay guys so i got the package it is here let's try these babies out so i got two lash sets from this brand called shorties and then i also got the petite trio and i got the lash glue adhesive because i naturally just have like the shortest eyelashes i don't know which ones i want to try i think i'm gonna use the set of lashes that i have a bunch of so i bought oh, they're so soft oh my god these are so natural looking okay so i think it's supposed to sit on your actual eyelashes interesting and i'm actually very excited for this hopefully it works so i'm gonna do the outer extensions first and i'm gonna do my right eye first my nails are so long. These are supposed to stay on for like three to five days straight. I don't know how you're supposed to wash your face, if you're allowed to wash your face, if you're not supposed to wash your face. So if any of you guys have used flutter lashes before, please let me know. Let's put these babies on. Ugh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. No. That did not work. That didn't even stay on my eyeball. Doing more. And we're gonna let it dry this time. I just got lash, I just took off the lash glue. I'm gonna wait 30 seconds again. I'm not gonna talk, just try it out. Why am I so nervous? Okay, I, I got the first ones in, but I'm pretty sure I glued it to my lash line and not my actual eyelashes, so that might be a problem in a few days. At least they're on. If they stay on for like 48 hours, I'll be happy. If they stay on for five days, I'll be even happier. Hmm. Okay. Do you guys see this? Not bad. Okay, guys. So I just did one eyeball and I do not like it. I can feel it. I can feel it, I can see it, it's very annoying. I'm like staring at it right now and it looks weird probably, me staring at my own eyelashes, but they feel pretty heavy. I don't know if it's because I put on too much glue on them, but too late, I already stuck them on my eyeball, so now I have to do the other eyes. Like I literally see it. <laughs> I feel like I look probably so weird like looking at my eyelashes right now. Like I'm just like opening my eyes really wide. Hello guys, it's been 30 full minutes. 
I hate these. I hate these. I want to pull them off my eyeballs, but I'm going to just try to commit for a couple days. I'm like ready just to close my eyes. They feel so heavy. I don't think I can last with these. I want to see if I actually get used to them or not. So we will see. I am trying to glow up and sometimes beauty is pain and very annoying. So we're going to stick with it. That's all the glow up I'm going to do today. Also, I know in my last video, I showed you guys that I got a new dog named Theo. And I feel like he's also had a glow up. And I feel like this would be a great time to show you guys his glow up because I'm doing a glow up. So let me grab Theo really fast. Okay, guys. Theo is so much bigger. This little guy is what? Almost 14 weeks old now. Like he... You guys haven't seen him since he was like 10 weeks old. So he's grown so, 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 so much. I did vlog a little bit about him learning how to sit. And we did decide on a new name for him. I know you guys all said zero or zeus but we decided to actually name him theo so guys meet little theo so theo is actually a name i've always wanted to name my son except matt hates that idea so i said all right well then this is gonna be my son but he is literally the sweetest sweetest sweetheart so calm such a chill puppy he got his third set of vaccines He's gaining a little bit of weight. The vet said that he's a little skinny, so we've been like feeding him extra and this boy can eat. Look at him, he looks like a man now. Are you a man? And I actually vlogged more after the last video you guys saw him in and I realized I completely never finished that vlog. So I think I'm just gonna include it in today's video because now he's so much bigger. Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Oh, I just freaking up, you guys. We are taking the little baby on a field trip today. He's in my lap right now. I'm going to a PR studio just to pick out some free stuff, which is really cool. It's a part of the job, but I want to make sure this little guy meets as many people as possible while he's still young. I'm not going to put him into contact with any other dogs or the outside world, so we're not letting him walk outside except in our own backyard. But I want him to meet as many people as possible, so I'm bringing him to the PR studio because they allow him and they wanted him there. Oh my. It's like a happy family. <laughs> <laughs> he's so happy. Yay. He's so happy. He is literally the calmest, goodest boy ever. Hi, baby. You want to just explore a little bit? Look how cute everything is. This is adorable. Look how adorable this spot is. Oh my god, are you being a good boy? I forgot you're with us. You're just such a quiet boy. Oh, these are cute. I have been seeing these everywhere. So I've grabbed a couple of things so far. I'm so overwhelmed because they're being so sweet and saying I can grab anything I want, but I also feel so guilty doing that just because I want to be as intentional as possible. But I grabbed some things for Pilates because I want to start Pilates. Grabbed some cute sets. Grabbed these like grippy socks for Pilates. So cute. And then I'm going to grab some of these jackets. All right, guys, we finished going to Belair. The baby is so, so tired right now. I'm about to get Boba guys. So I'm going to bring him inside. I'm not going to let him on the floor i'm just gonna hold him the entire time but i don't want to keep him in the car because he's never been in the car by himself yet and he's still a puppy and i don't know how long boba guys is gonna take but we're just gonna carry him inside he's so dead he has been playing with zoe non-stop the last like five days and so you know he's probably just getting some rest but we're gonna grab some boba i'm super excited i've been trying not to get boba every day but i've only been getting it once or twice a week the last few weeks which is so good so i deserve boba today oh my goodness <laughs> you're so cute so we're at callie's house he's meeting julia oh <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Imagine you just wants to sleep like that. I feel like I'm holding would. a baby. <laughs> no, literally. Guys, I think Julia just taught little Theo how to sit. No, no, no. Oh, no sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, I'm getting distracted. Oh. Okay. Well, you're just. You're already sitting. Get up. Come on. Okay. Sit. Yay! Good boy. <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> How did you do that? You're so good. I don't know. That was so fun. It's like funny because it's his food. He's like, I know I can get this no matter what. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. Okay, sit. Good <laughs> boy. Anything else you want to teach him? Feel free to teach him. <laughs> okay, let's try. What, like, he's like rolling over. Like, like, Circle. Like, yeah. Oh my god, Julia. Okay, what can we teach him? I'm you know the, dying. You know the thing when like, you, he talks like bang bang and they like lay down. I want to try it from my angle. Let's see if mommy can get you to do it. Come here. Alright. 
Sit. No. Good boy. Good boy. Did we get it? Did we get it? He's so easy. Good boy. So I did pick up a bunch of stuff from the actual PR firm I went to, which is Callie's friend. Angie who works there and I guess I should show you a couple of things that I got first and foremost I got the most comfy emus ever these shoes I've been wearing 24 7 I want a second pair that I can actually wear outside because right now these are just my in-house slippers I don't wear them outside ever because they're so comfy I want to wear them 24 freaking 7 I also got this jacket as well like literally how freaking cute so this is from blank new york city very freaking cute i have been super into turtlenecks like the entire time i was in new york city for 48 hours i wore four different outfits every single outfit had a turtleneck and this is a turtleneck midi dress so freaking pretty and then the last two things i got I hung up already. This is an oversized blazer from Aster the Label. We have another Aster the Label jacket. This is like a Sherpa jacket. It kind of reminds me of like a varsity jacket just because, you know, the sleeves are different than the actual body. So cute. I need to figure out like a really cute outfit to wear with this. My favorite person in the whole wide world. Ditto, ditto. I'm getting my boots done. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? yeah. You are, yeah, in January. Yeah. Yes, you did tell me this. Yeah. So super excited for this. So next time you guys see Rosie, she'll have boobies. I'll have better boobies, <laughs> yay. Hello guys, it's the next day. Rosie absolutely killed the hair. Um, it was straight earlier, but now it's kind of like wavy because I put it in a bun last night. But I went super, super, super ashy. In like 2017, 2018, I was super ashy. We're back to being ashy. It is gonna fade out to blonde again just because we didn't actually dye the hair this color, we just toned it. I miss the silver gray hair a lot. And also I wanted to give you guys an update on the <laughs> lash extensions I did at home last night. They were pilling, I pulled it all off. I did not last 48 hours with them. So not a huge fan of them, I'll give it another shot. But as of now, they did not even last 48 hours before they started like pulling off my eyes. Um, so now we've downgraded the glow up a little bit, but that's okay. Also, I did tell you guys I would give you guys a two-week update on the nose job, and I figured I would give you guys an update now. So this is what my little cute nose looks like. I am wearing makeup so you guys can see what it looks like before and after. I'll show you guys more before and afters right here. From the front, you can see my nose bridge is a little bit higher. It sits higher. And again, this is very subtle. I don't even know how many milliliters I did, but I barely did anything. Like... There is barely any added filler to my nose, but here's what it looks like from the side. When I smile, but I think I might add more to the tip. But literally, Anita Patel did an incredible job with my nose, literally no bruising, no downtime. So that is it with today's video. I just wanna say a huge shout out to you like for sponsoring today's video. I do have a discount code for you guys. It's gonna be Tiffany Ma, and they're gonna give you guys a huge, massive discount on the website for Black Friday. So instead of being $359, it is now $259, which is massive. And when I tell you guys, it is literally one of the best IPL devices I've ever used. I'm being straight up honest. This thing is incredible. It feels like nothing on your skin. It's super pain-free. You don't really have to like IPL much anymore either. So it's really freaking worked for me and I'm excited for it to work for you guys. So that's it for today's video. I love you guys. We're gonna do more glow ups, but I honestly feel better after seeing Rosie. So check her out as well. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do. I'll be lost in you